Hey guys, so um, today I have a special video. I've got something new to show y'all. Just got it in the mail. It's an Enzo. I've been wanting this knife for a long time. Might have mentioned it to um, a certain subscriber of mine, Ozark Yeoman, a few months ago. And um, finally got it. Let's, let me show y'all. Now I've already take a, took, taken a look at this, if I'm honest with you guys. Um, I'm going to show y'all. just came this little sleeve here. That's how it's packaged. Nice simple box, just slides together. Easy. And then here's the knife. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Very nicely finished. The wood and the metal, there's no difference there. You can't even feel it. Just very great. Deep carry pocket clip. Desert Ironwood. You guys, this is the Desert Ironwood Enzo Burke 75. And I have not seen videos about this guy on YouTube at all. I mean, he gets no, no fame. I mean, at all. No coverage. As far as I can see. I've seen the other versions, but um, not the Desert Ironwood. But anyway, you can see it's very clean. Silver hardware. <laughs> it's very nice looking. Good action. Right out of the box. I haven't touched it at all. It doesn't have any blade play. You know, I mean, you can always force a pivot to bend a little bit, but, um. Yeah, very nice. Doesn't have any wobbling going on. You can see that better when you close it and move the blade back and forth like this. It's got a tiny, tiny bit right there. That's all. I want it's locked. Yeah, but anyway, I just want to take a look at this. Um, it's a beautiful knife, y'all. Scales are very clean, very flat with a chamfered edge just to keep it more comfortable. But this will ride great in the pocket. This will feel great just because it's nice and flat against your body. All the screws are recessed into the wood or into the clip here so it's very clean like very clean just look at that no milling going on on the inside at all just solid steel liners wow that's a beautiful knife right there. Came with a little roughness on the end here of the desert ironwood. That's very typical of desert ironwood, the way its grain is. Sometimes it's hard to polish it up. So that's what you're seeing right there. I mean, I found out on both of my bark rivers, desert ironwood, little spots there too. Just parts of the grain that will either break out when you're cutting it or not polish at all. So that's no biggie, but um, it's something to see. Some people might bother. I think I'm okay with it. But um, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful knife. Great action. I'm going to do a um, first impressions video on it at some point, maybe after a month of using it, maybe even earlier though, depending on how long it takes me to feel confident in making a video like that. But um. Yeah, just taking a look at this. I mean, it's beautiful. Feels solid. Very well made knife. That's it, guys. Just a quick look at the Desert Ironwood Enzo Burke 75. The S30V and a full flat ground blade. Minus the micro bevel, of course. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and God bless.